Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eon's Battle, and I need your help. What do I do about model varnishes? I have been varnishing all of my minis since forever. I used to use a product called Tester's Dull Coat, which is a half size rattle can, and that gave a really, really good, albeit really, really thick, matte varnish. But once I got my airbrush, I wanted to use the airbrush. And so I've been using some Vallejo polyurethane matte varnish. And I thought this was working wonders for me, but recently I've been painting some brighter colored, uh, more vibrant miniatures. And I've been noticing that this really, really desaturates my colors. Look at this Rebel tank. I worked really, really hard to get the colors exactly how I wanted them. And then I put on a matte varnish and it super desaturated the colors. When I rub on a little bit of water, it reveals the true colors underneath and I couldn't tell because there was nothing to compare it to once the matte varnish had gone on. But it completely kind of ruined it. Now varnish is important. It protects my miniatures from my greasy Cheeto hands, but more importantly to me, uh, I paint with a lot of different brands and types of paint that all have different finishes. And so a varnish is really, really good at the end to bring it all together and make it uniform. So I have these five Black Templar Space Marines that I recently finished and they will be the perfect subject for a test. I'm gonna leave one unvarnished as a control and then I'm gonna try out four varnishes to see which one I like the best. First up, I applied some Green Stuff World Max Matte Ultra Matte Varnish. This one was the most convenient because right out of this dropper it's airbrush ready, but I don't know if I love it. It is truly ultra matte but I feel like maybe ultra matte is not actually what I'm after. I definitely want a matte finish, but this is so matte that even though it doesn't look like it has frosted, like my Vallejo polyurethane did, I feel like it's it's uh, it's dulled down my metallics and my skin tones so much, and it makes it look really, really chalky. It is a really, really nice finish, and I think if I ever want things to be really, really matte, like perhaps vehicles, this would be a great choice but I don't know if it's gonna be a great choice for infantry because some things shouldn't be super matte. Metallic shouldn't be super matte, cloth shouldn't be super matte, skin shouldn't be super matte. And I think this is just a little bit too matte. So I don't know if going forward, this is gonna be my pick. Next up, some Vallejo polyurethane matte varnish. I applied this because I wanted to see what it looked like next to a control and I totally see what was happening. It was hard to tell with because once you've varnished a model, you can't really go back to what it looked like before, but I can totally see that it's a little bit frosty. It's like there's an ever so slight white film over the entire model. It is definitely matte, but I don't like it, especially on my Black Templars. I feel like my Black Templars are gray Templars. I do that just so that there's a little bit more visual interest, but I feel like the one that has the varnish on it is a little bit grayer still, and I definitely, definitely don't prefer it. It also has dulled down my metallics quite a bit, and it definitely dulled the colors a lot. The reds really look chalky. Eh, no good. The next model I did was a 50-50 mix of Vallejo polyurethane matte varnish and Vallejo polyurethane satin varnish. I was hoping that the satin would add a little bit of a glossy sheen and bring back the colors and get rid of that frostiness. I don't know if it got rid of the frostiness, but it definitely helped the colors a lot. I think this one is the, definitely the most acceptable. The metallics still look nice and metallic-y. They're not too, too matte. The colors are still there. I think that this is definitely not bad. It has saved it for the most part, but I still see just a little bit of frosting on everything really. And I don't know if I love it, but it's so subtle. Adding in, adding in the satin really helped a lot. And last but not least, a little bit of a wild card. I decided to thin down some Liquitex matte medium, the thing that I'm constantly painting with on my palettes, and just run this through the airbrush and see what happens. And I kinda dig it a lot. It's definitely the least matte out of any of these, but maybe that's for the best. Maybe I actually don't want as matte a finish as I think. It's a little tiny bit glossy, but it's not so glossy that I'm getting spots of white from the lights around me, which is always my worry when I varnish a mini. Uh, sometimes it can be really annoying when lighting around you is taking away from your actual paint job. And that's why you want things to be very matte. But I feel like this is just matte enough 
where my colors are still vibrant, my metallics are still shiny, but everything looks really good. I'm sure this isn't quite as hardy a coat as some of the other products I used, but I think this might be giving me the finish I want. Really surprised. So what do you guys think? I'm sure it doesn't look like much on camera and I'm sure most of you are thinking, Jay, those differences are almost imperceptibly small. How on earth is that bothering you? But it is. I think my favorite was actually the Liquitex Professional Matte Medium, which I'm very surprised about, but this did everything I wanted it to. And hopefully uh, I can use this going forward because this stuff is very cheap compared to these other products. So I'm gonna try out this. But we make tutorials like these every single week and if you find them helpful, you might consider supporting us over on Patreon. Over there, you're gonna get access to some behind the scenes, hobby hangouts, terrain STLs, and more exclusive content. Please, please give me some ideas on what other varnish products I should try out and let me know what do you guys use on your models. Put that in the comments below, but as always, thanks for watching.